Well, joining us live now in the studio is Walid Safour, who's the UK representative of the Syrian National Coalition, the main opposition group in Syria. Mr. Safour, thank you so much for joining us here on Al Jazeera. First of all, your reaction to these comments by Carla Del Ponte. It was very, very strange, in fact, uh, that she is not the proper and the right person to make any statement about the use of chemical weapon. Uh, she is not uh, the chairman or president of uh, any uh, committee for uh, inquiry. Uh, secondly, uh, it was uh, stamped as baseless and foundless. Uh, and unreliable but by let's all just parties. Look at some. I mean, she herself said she's part of the Commission on Human Rights as opposed to Chemical Weapons. That's a different UN team. She is a leading member of this uh, UN group looking at UN uh, human rights violations in uh, Syria. And you know, as far as whether her comments are baseless, I mean, the UN distanced itself from them. But you know, it's based on testimony. No one's exactly ruled it out. Are you in a position to rule it out that any rebels used chemical weapons? We ruled out uh, uh, absolutely because uh, we in the Syrian revolution and the uh, opposition forces will not use uh, chemical weapons by any means for any purposes whatsoever. Your particular group may not, but the Syrian opposition is made up of yeah. very many disparate groups. I mean, can you really guarantee that no one at any point has ever used chemical weapons? I can ensure you that even the most radical groups will not use chemical weapons. We want to keep and preserve lives of the Syrian people, not to kill the Syrian people. This is uh, keeping life is our primary purpose. But Carla Del Ponte says that basically her assumptions are made on the testimonies that have come from people that have escaped the fighting in Syria. So there's obviously something there. I'm surprised that you aren't even in the least bit curious or perhaps trying to investigate it further from your end i think uh, she we need to uh, to clarify what what sort of uh, testimony she has made and uh, with uh, whom and uh, what sort of uh, criteria she has used i think uh, uh, she lack a lot of credibility now by all parties the, the U united states the united nations uh, the uh, even uh, the, the, the the nato general Secretary and uh, also by me, by us ourselves, the Syrian people. We don't use, we don't kill our people at all, and we we know that uh, the use of chemical weapon is a red line for ourselves, not uh, well, and certainly for a lot of yeah. other countries. I mean, this is very damaging for me. And you say she has no credibility, but she is a former war crimes prosecutor. She's held in very high esteem uh, by many of her colleagues. So obviously, her words will carry some weight. Do you think that it damages the position? of the rebels now? Of course, uh, especially it comes at uh, a very critical time. Uh, it diverts uh, the attention from the massacres carried out in uh, Banyas, in Al-Baida, in Ras uh, and Naba, uh, in uh, al Qusayr near Homs. Uh, it diverts the attention from all these. In one week, we have got more than 1,000 victims. And it diverts the attention from the atrocities uh, uh, perpetrated and uh, carried out by... It also by makes Bashar it even system. less likely now that Western governments will give you the arms that you seek. Uh, anyway, we are not uh, caring too much about that because uh, the embargo is not lifted uh, at all, I think. And uh, uh, it, it may, they may uh, play this game again against the Syrian people. Walid Safour, UK representative of the Syrian National Coalition, thank you so much for joining thank us. You.